yo what up y'all and welcome back to another one we are out here we are up here on the rooftops uh got some good news today my new water feeder uh for the other trap set came in yesterday so we're gonna put that new water feeder out there and we're gonna be able to see how much natural rainfall we have collected uh at the other spot because i had the five gallon buckets out there uh-huh and we got a ton of rain and we have good luck check it out yeah look at that a lot of water still in that so my other one cracked at the other location first we gotta bait it there we go all right these guys are ready to get out of here they're gonna be shaking and doing everything so bear with me we're gonna run through them here first guy up uh look at that nice mature blue bar always gonna check them for bands y'all have been dropping a lot of comments down below saying uh bob i cannot believe you haven't trapped a banded pigeon i know right yes what are you uh, not really mature just big another blue bar check him out next dude up he's just chilling he's actually sitting here eating corn as I dumped it out. Well, easy, dude, easy. Uh, decently mature blue bar again. Checking for fans, always have to. Little stinker. All right, here's a cool bird. I think we got two total black checks. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's, uh, he's just really young. He's gonna be a blue check, I think. Maybe black, you guys tell me down below. Young bird, really young. What are you doing, man? Uh, pretty young. Blue bar. No bands. All right, let's go through these so we can go to the next trap. First one, young, blue bar. Nothing too special. A lot of these feral birds, guys, um, our, our town, if I haven't told you, or maybe this is your first video you're watching, look at that guy, beautiful check big easy he is strong uh we got a huge pigeon feral pigeon problem and for these uh these business owners it is a pain in the butt they spend a lot of money on uh, <clears throat> pest control stuff that just don't work so it's nice to help them out all righty i just got done filling uh the water feeder rebating all the doors are closed. I always have to check them because I forgot to uh, lock them before and lock the outside. And we're gonna move on. All right, still debating on moving this trap so I do not have to climb up this thing anymore. I don't like doing anything sketchy. And these ladders sometimes make it sketchy. Do we have anything? The ladder's slanted. That's what makes Look at that. Wow, we might have a big issue, boys. And gals. All right, that's the last time I'm gonna go up that. I'm gonna move this trap. We got some success, but to get water up here, I gotta go back down and up and down. It's too much, I gotta load the birds in and out. It just feels unsafe. So, what happened here, little graphic, not any worse than the hunts we do. This guy, did, did he get pulled out? How are you out? He's dead. Huh. Okay. Well, we got three nice blue, well, one really older blue bar there. This guy got way out, shoved his head way out and got stuck, it looks like. How did you do that? Yeah, he. look at that. He got stuck in between. Oh, that's Sucks, dude. Sorry, man. Well, I'm sorry, dude. He got wedged in between there and couldn't move. I'm gonna load up these uh, blue bars and get off this rooftop, move the trap down there. Um, so, not a bad start to the day. Two traps, uh, eight and three. So, it's not bad. 11 birds in and still have the last. Sorry, you guys are bobbing around a little bit. Still have one more trap at the other location. I do have another location, so I think in the next video we'll go ahead and move 
our open trap at the Costas Fair to that other location. But it's going to require a ladder and a bunch of different stuff uh, that I don't currently just bring with me now. So we got to acquire all those new tools, pretty much. But this uh, next spot really provided uh, last week a bunch. Oh my gosh, there's so many pigeons in the air down here. But we are almost there. Got the new water. It looks a little big, uh, a little wide for it fitting in the holes. So I'll be uh, really interested to see if it works. I really hope it does. Nothing new. Always tired. It's quite a climb up here. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, look at that. We did this once or twice last year. Oh, we got some beauties in here, boys. Look at the red one. Look at that one. He's got a lot of pie action, pie ball going on. Two awesome birds. That one's black. Two awesome birds. That one's got white, white feathers. Oh my. That's cool. Uh, it'll be interesting to see those two oddly colored birds. If there's any bands on their legs, that would be awesome. Look at this. This is what I was talking about though. Water. Free water. That is just rainwater gathered there. Saves me from going all the way. Ooh, we need to close. See, that's what I mean. That was open. They could get out there, but that's open. This is awesome. Guys, you got to smash a thumbs up button for this one. Uh, let's get a close look at these birds. You all know we have to save the best for last. Man, that's awesome. I love special birds. You might ask, some of you might be asking me right now, uh, or asking yourself, rather, uh, what makes them get that color, right? just their genes like uh, whatever birds those two there that white and dark one and that red one that might be a pair or they might be babies off of two other crazy colored birds you know what I mean so pigeons they will come out with some awesome color combos especially that pied one um, that red one I love red auburn I call them auburn pigeons some people don't some people just call them reds reds are cool going through these nothing too special yet really adult uh, blue check check him out he's really dark really old really strong four five six seven eight. Oh, you guys do the math that's a killer day of pigeon trapping this is the cool one over on this side uh, he's got a little bit of white on his uh, throat there and he has some huge white flight feathers check that out you got a band on you buddy you do not so a lot of them if they're banded they're probably going to be a homing pigeon and a lot of you that are watching this know what i'm talking about uh when i say homing pigeon they're really really young blue check all right this is awesome this is awesome little reward you know what i mean it is hot up here. Wow, it's hot today. Look at this, there's our red one. Uh, looks pretty darn young. See how small he is? Might just be a female, I don't know. I'm gonna check him for, see no bands. Def definitely just a feral, beautiful feral pigeon. Check that out. I'm gonna get the other guy here. He is really cool as well. Black and white, piebald, just Awesome, unique bird. He is really feisty. Holy cow, dude. Look at that guy. Easy, dude. He is strong. Check you. Nope. Alrighty, check him out. Awesome colors. He's got some red. See that red in there? Like I said, he might be a relation to this red one. I would not doubt it. I really wouldn't. I bet that's the case. If anything. Last two here. This guy's got his head stuck. Uh, really young. Check. And then last but not least, last bird of the day. Adult. Look at you. Easy. Big, strong adult. No bands. 
blue bar. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, now let's lock this one up. I'm gonna see. This came with the trap. This I bought at Tractor Supply. No. That's what I was worried about right there. Darn it. Well, I filled that one up as much as I could. Gonna have to use it for now. This one, total waste of money, but I didn't know. Gonna have to come up with a better plan. If you have a uh, good idea what I could put in there, maybe just a deeper bowl, a deeper dish, maybe a smaller one of those. I don't know, drop a comment down below if you have a better option than me. Isn't that crazy, bub? <laughs> yeah. We got a bunch of them, huh? Mm -hmm. That was a good day of trapping. Bub, I can't wait till you're big enough to go up on the rooftops with me. That'll be fun, won't it? Uh huh. Huh? Look at the camera. Won't yeah. that be fun? Yeah. yeah. We are uh, at home, me and Bodie uh, are taking the pigeons out back to put them in the loft. Um, our loft is getting full, very, very full. After this amount of birds, it's gonna be absolutely full. Now the two to three pretty ones I'll put in the, in the one side uh, that I'll keep and then the other ones will uh, go to the other side. <sighs> Man, that was awesome. It's always fun catching the good ones. The one that's over here, we're not gonna keep. The one that's over here, we're gonna keep. That's right, Bubba. Here we are. are not gonna keep. These ones are yep, gonna keep. that's right. Those are our keepers. Those are our non-keepers. Let's check the snake trap, though. Nothing. Got the egg in there. We've caught two snakes in it so far. We've had a huge snake problem. We lost some eggs. Don't know why. We lost some babies. Kind of like always. But we got two fresh eggs there. Um, and a bunch more on the inside. I just don't want to disturb the birds right now. Because <clears throat> so I have no idea why we cannot hatch a darn baby. All right, buddy. Here's our red one. Welcome to your new home. Here we go. There he goes. Go on, check it out. Oh, he pooped. We're going to keep him too. Pretty one. Go on, buddy. There you go. Check it out. Here they come out. Come on. Get out of the cage. Get you some food and some water. Here, Joe. We're one too. Yeah, we are full of birds. I'm going to have to start hitting up my dog training buddies to come over and fill up, fill up on some birds. If you have not heard, I am booking uh, hunts here at Sand Hill Flyway. We do duck and goose hunting all waterfowl season November through February. We accept any group size, one, two, six, 13, whatever you got. <sighs> Come to Central Kansas, experience some banger waterfowl hunts. I'm telling you, we pride ourselves on our hunting. Uh, I can tell you one of the best in the state by far. Serious inquires only. If you're interested in booking, please go down in the description. There will be a hunt with me link. That'll take you to uh, sandhillflowers.com where you will fill out the inquire to book form. Put all that information in there and then yours truly will be giving you a call. My wife is calling me right now, so I gotta go subscribe if you haven't, but we'll see you next time. Angry, but girl, I ain't even getting mad. Cause I've been getting